is it's a fossil tree, a wigwam for the night. The most epic place. Welcome to Arizona. <laughs> Let's show you the map of the plan for today. So we're literally right here on the New Mexican Arizona border. And at the plan today, we're gonna to carry on along Route 66 in the I-40 to the petrified forest where there's some cool fossils. Then we're gonna carry on to Winslow. And then we'll end the day somewhere near Flagstaff or Williams, ready uh, to go and see the Grand Canyon in the, uh, in probably in the next episode. We're lucky to have another beautiful sunny day today. It's literally beaming down. If you're wondering what the weather's like, the wind is still a little bit cold, but in the sun, it's, uh, it's really nice. We're so used to the, uh, the distances here in the States that uh, the first stop today is 47 miles. It's just down the road. <laughs> and I absolutely love the rock formations. How amazing does that look? Typical Arizona. So we actually started today's adventure a bit on the late side. It's actually one o'clock. So uh, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get across uh, Arizona to, our, to Williams to park up for tonight. But we'll try and do it before it gets dark. Yeah, these um, like winter nights, they come in really, really early, which means by five o'clock we have to be parked up somewhere, otherwise we're driving around, which is the complete opposite to Alaska, where we have the midnight sun. So all the way down the side of the highway here, they've got lots of signs, Navajo owned Indian cities, and uh, obviously lots of reservation land around here. Uh, landscapes turning a little bit more flat and not so uh, deserty dramatic with those rock formations but I'm expecting as we head uh, across the state towards the Grand Canyon that it will get more and more dramatic and, uh, and beautiful. There you go, Petrified Forest National Park. I'm pretty sure our America is beautiful past should work here because it's a national park. Entrance is normally $25, there you go. How you doing? Not too bad, we haven't any rocks or pesticides with you. We were. Beautiful, thank, thank you, you very much, sir. You too. I love this pass, you should definitely get this. America is beautiful pass, you just drive up, show it, and you're straight through. And we got a little brochure and a map. Okay, so this is where we entered the park and we've come in at Tipperly Point so we're going to do a little loop and drive around here. This is through the painted desert with the magnificent views. And then we're going to head south here through the Petrified Forest National Park and then come out at the end, hang a right, and then uh, join the I-40 again to continue west. There you go. The first stop. To Poli Point. Look at that view. This is the painted desert. Looks absolutely amazing. That's what you expect Arizona to look like, isn't it? Yeah, and it, it literally is what it says on the tin a desert that is painted. This is the only national park where Route 66 goes through. This looks like a nice place for a selfie, Marianne. What do you reckon? I think we might have struck gold. <laughs> it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Look at that. It's a, it's a good time of year to come as well because the park is quiet. I'm sure in the summer this place is rammed. So this is the Tower Trail 
In Hopi ideology, Tawa refers to the sun spirit, the creator of the world. The Hopi are one of the several modern Native American groups that were connected to the rich, varied history of the petrified forest. We were just saying how lucky we are that the sun is out today because if it was a cloudy day, we wouldn't have all this wonderful color of the rocks that you can see here. And there's literally sea for miles. You know, these colored rocks go way into the distance. So the, the drive through the park is gonna take us all the way around. It's about a 28 mile loop, I think. And it's gonna go all the way down to the petrified forest in the distance that way. And then we'll do a big loop round and come, and come back out and join the highway. We're just driving through the park. We're nearly back to the big I-40 there. And they've got this uh, couple of little displays here to remember Route 66. The Highway of Dreams, Holbrook via the Petrified Forest. We come down to Newspaper Rock. It's got an, uh, over 650 petroglyphs on it, although they are pretty hard to spot from the viewing yeah. point. And uh, some of them apparently date back to 2,000 years old. Ooh. Going over the grasslands now towards the uh, petrified forest. It's quite an epic scenic drive today. As we head towards the south of the park, the rocks are getting pretty cool. They've got more grey with like red stripes through them. So we've come down to the petrified forest part of the park. A gate bridge, there's actually a hundred foot petrified tree that's formed a bridge. So 217 million years ago, this was a forest. That is one of the trees. And what is absolutely mad is it's a fossiled tree. It's a stone tree and you can still see the perfectly formed shape of the tree. That is insane. So we've come down to the uh, Crystal Forest. Look at these trees. They're literally stone, but yet you can still see the bark on them. Absolutely amazing, but they are just solid stone. And uh, this whole area would have been a forest and they've got these logs, like loads of them dotted around. I've never seen that before. 218 million years ago, this would have been a forest. <laughs> that was absolutely mind-blowingly amazing. I've never seen a fossilized tree. So yeah, definitely if you're in Arizona and driving down the I-40, take a detour, it is well worth it and possibly a once in a lifetime experience. It's hard to imagine that all of these rocks you can see are actually old lava beds from millions of years ago. We've just come into Holbrook. Apparently, this town has a wigwam motel. So uh, we thought we'd go and check that out because I've never seen a wigwam motel before. Welcome to the wigwam hotel. They've got all these really cool old school cars. Look, does that not make you feel like Mr. Miyagi from <laughs> the Karate Kid? Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. So apparently, back in the day, the uh, Wigwam Motel was a small 
sort of motel chain. And this is only one of two left on the whole of Route 66. And basically you get to rent a wigwam for the night. We're not doing that, but we thought we'd show you. So this is the, uh, the office here, look. They've got all these cars. Hello, we just wanted to tell you. You have a very, very cool place. That's all I want to say. It's amazing. There's one more on Route 66 in San Bernardino, California. And then there's a third wigwam motel in Cape City, Kentucky. I love it. I've never seen a wigwam hotel before. Are they, are they comfortable to sleep in? Oh yeah. Yeah? They got proper beds and TVs and everything. They're like proper rooms. Yeah. Sarah's, Sarah's given us the key so we can go and have a little sneak peek in one of the teepees. But they've still got COVID rules going on here, so we're not allowed to go into the room, but we, we can show you from the door. I just can't believe they've got all these cars. It is the most epic place. Oh, it's amazing. So you're inside, you've got a TV, an aircon unit, a bed, there's a bathroom. Oh, there's another bed around the corner there. They're proper hotel rooms in a teepee. It's like a double room. You can't see up. They've uh, obviously insulating it and got it, but they're made, they're made out of solid, solid stone. I'm loving it. How cool is that? So they got this look, shop and uh, little museum. They've got lovely log fires here in the, in the reception area. And they've got very good examples wow. of the petrified wood. That is a petrified wood. Look at that. There's more. There's more? Oh my that. goodness. This is polished. Are they... You can feel the bark. Wow. And then that is... It's a polished. They've got a little museum of stuff in the back. That is literally just the most beautiful thing. And even though it's been polished, you can feel like the ring's still a little bit. And there's so, there's so many as you're driving down the road, they're just lying everywhere, these trees. It's just beautiful. And then at the back here, like the teepees go all the way around in a big circle. This petrified wood, I mean, look at the size of that one. It's literally everywhere. You don't have to go into the park to see it. That, look at that for a little RV outside this uh, wigwam hotel here. <laughs> I'm loving that. It's like a, the perfect size. Look, it's even got a bed in it. That's one for a future travel. It's so nice driving Route 66 to see somewhere that's really looked after and they've just kept it going because some of the places on Route 66 are old and derelict and everything else uh, because it's a, a, an era gone by, um, but they've embraced it. Sarah was saying that it's the same family that's lived here and owned it um, since it opened. Three generations and uh, they're doing a fantastic job. And we traded stickers. They gave us a little wigwam sticker to put on Trudy. That the wigwam motel stickers going on the van. Oh. Right, well, I think we should probably go and find somewhere to sleep because the sun is nearly down. There you go. Travel centre truck stop. We would like to say a huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. So what is a VPN? It basically stands for Virtual Private Network. And by creating an encrypted tunnel, it keeps you and your data safe whilst you're surfing online. It's like having your own personal online security guard. But there's more to Surfshark than just online security. At the click of a button, you can change your computer's virtual location, which makes it think it's somewhere else in the world. And in turn, that unlocks content that wouldn't normally be available to you. And Surfshark VPN is the only company that allows use on an unlimited number of devices. And the very kind people at Surfshark have offered Tread the Globe followers a very special discount by clicking the link in the description below. Or if you're watching on a TV, scan this QR code, use the code Tread the Globe, and you'll get a whopping 85% discount plus three months free 
if you buy before the 31st of December. Good morning, folks. Lovely sunny morning. Iced on the inside of the van again. Woo, it's cold. We have got to go <laughs> south. We are going south, but we've got to just keep going west first. Just in case you're wondering, we do have heating in the van. We put this uh, insulated cover in the windscreen behind the blind and it obviously gets much colder behind there than it does in the van, which means it's doing its job. We had a uh, good night's sleep at the truck stop. Sun is shining, but with those uh, beautiful blue skies comes very cold nights. We're actually warm in bed. But outside, we have a curtain that goes across here, so this area can get really cold. It does, the front gets proper cold. But uh, the roads look good, nice and quiet this morning. We were driving along, we saw these random signs. They've got lots of advertising signs by the side of the highways here in the US. But we just saw one called Jack Rabbit. So we thought we'd just stop and randomly see what it's all about. And why is there a rabbit? <laughs> why is there a rabbit? It even says Jack Rabbit Road. Is it like a hare? A Jack Rabbit's the equivalent of a British hare, maybe? I have no idea what a Jack Rabbit is. It's another old gas station. This is the old uh, Route 66. The relics of the past. <laughs> it's, uh, it's obviously a stop off on Route 66, on the old original Route 66. <sighs> okay, well here it is. And there is the rabbit, Route 66. Open in 1949, tourists were drawn to stop and see what here it is was all about. <laughs> well, it obviously worked because we stopped. <laughs> so basically it's a little trading post. <laughs> It's a store. Caution baby rattlers. <laughs> Please God let it not be baby rattlers. <laughs> There's rattlesnakes in there. Have you seen them before? No. Are you serious? Is that re really? Yeah, real big rattlers. Really? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's a high five. You got me on that one. <laughs> No, it's because of the <laughs> I was thinking. I was really I cautious, like I'm waiting for that. <laughs> oh, we're so, we're so gullible. It started by Jim Taylor in 1949. I took an order from a guy that was the Hamburger uh, Shack Diner, dance hall, whatever it was back then. Yeah. He did okay and after, but he wasn't advertising it. What happened, he uh, says, I gotta do something. So he went up and down the freeway, printed up minus signs. He used to have him and friends used to take off as far as they could. So you see the, his friend's sign and his close to each other all the way. Did they make a day trip or two on that? Put, up, put them out back. together. Oh, and uh, cool. where the here it is comes from is, you see all these signs? Yeah. yeah. You see all these signs, all these signs. It creates curiosity. It and then it's, I saw the sign, yeah. here it is. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> the, my wife's family's had it three generations. Recently we are the uh, longest owners in Anther of the place. Very cool little store, Tony the owner. Absolutely loved it, lovely. And he got Marianne, well, and me, good, with that little baby rattlesnake. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> really, that was hilarious. What a sweetheart. Have we got a couple of stickers for the van? Yeah, I do. And I have a soapstone turtle that I'm going to send to a friend in Turkey. Welcome to Winslow, Arizona. This place is famous from an eagle song, Taking It Easy, because one of the lyrics in the song is, standing at the corner here in Winslow, Arizona. Do you think that's why they've got an eagle up there? I think that's probably why, Marianne. In 1999, they made this as a memory of that song. Dedicated in 1999 as a tribute to the memorial song of the 1970s that made Winslow, Arizona, a town to sing on Route 66. Got a truck here with loads of stickers. So guess what? There's a sticker going on. Trudy is really quite an iconic vehicle, so I feel like I should share that iconic love. There you go. It's there. We've also spotted apparently the world's smallest church is here in Winslow, Arizona. Somewhere in there, but it's closed. Alan, Yvonne and James, 
your stickers are being posted from Route 66 here at Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> we're driving west we got mountains again in the distance a little bit of snow on the top there i don't want to do mountains with katie on the snow anymore i don't think we have to go over them do we? we need to head out we have arrived in the town of williams and we're staying at <laughs> <laughs> we are, we're back at another truck stop. The reason we're staying in Williams is because tomorrow we are going to one of those bucket list places here in the States. Absolutely, the Grand Canyon. And if you want to see more of our epic Route 66 trip down through the States, then check out this video right here.